Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a loss of signal and obviously have to manage that. Um, I assume if this was your operating room, this was your nerve monitor, and you had trouble with the reception from the vocal cords, you would be pretty experienced and would know how to troubleshoot this issue. Um, but let's imagine now this happens in your private life. This is your um, newest TV in home made with a 4K resolution, beautiful widescreen television. This would simply be unacceptable, wouldn't it? In our days of high technology, such problems simply do not appear anymore. Um, so why do we have this demand in our private life for reliable, stable signal reception, but in our professional life, we simply accept troubles with signal monitoring from the vocal cords as kind of a standard issue that is even that much of a frequent problem that, that people publish about it and give talks about it, how to troubleshoot it. I mean, when I remember correctly, a few years ago, even Jan Ransom told us that when being initially exposed to nerve monitoring, 80% of users have troubles with the signal reception. It is our strong opinion that with our newest technology, this should not appear anymore. It is our belief that you should also benefit in your professional life from a 4K resolution, from a reliable high technology. Okay, I'll admit, the C2 nerve monitor is not equipped with a 4K resolution widescreen. <coughs> but seriously, who cares? I mean, I would not want to watch the latest Hollywood movies on it anyway. The point where we put in 4K technology, that's not the display, but that's the patient interface. The C2 nerve monitor is equipped with four recording channels, each of them being used at the vocal cords to monitor the vocal muscle twitches. This means that for our laryngeal electrode select, four channels combine eight contacts all over the entire surface of the endotracheal tube. The endotracheal tubes the endotracheal tube has 360 degrees of surface coverage by sensing electrodes. This means no matter what happens in your surgical field, if there is a um, manipulation at the trachea, if there is a rotation of the tube, or if there is a simple change of operation site, there will always be one pet in optimum contact at the vocal cords. The C2, in combination with it, will continuously monitor and evaluate all those four channels. But in the moment of a muscle twitch reception, in the moment of a muscle action potential, it will automatically select this single but optimal pet and will provide you with this optimal recording signal on the screen, on the loudspeaker, and will quantify the measurement values for you. With the package of the C2 nerve monitor and the laryngeal electrode select, you as a surgeon, you don't care anymore about tube rotation. You focus on your sterile field and let anything else to the device. But the C2 software is not just about the selection of optimum traits. It's also about the differentiation between a real muscle twitch and any kind of artifact that you will experience in your surgical field. Thanks to many years of research, the C2 is equipped with a highly sensitive and very reliable signal detection algorithm. It's that much sensitive that it goes down to amplitudes that you even couldn't see on the screen from your sterile field. Things like false positive, false negative, you reveal a lot about it. Those are extremely rare events when using this algorithm. Have you ever had a power breakdown in your OR? or maybe your monitoring nerve system crashed, or a nurse pulled unintentionally out the power cord. Let's again think of your private life, what would happen. Most likely the work of the past two or three hours would simply be lost. In professional life, especially in medical care technology, that's unacceptable. That's why the C2 nerve monitor is equipped with an internal storage, saving every single trace, every, announce, every annotation, every measurement value online and forever and ever. No matter what happens to the device, you can go during surgery or years after surgery back to the device and analyze and record any single trace. Especially in our days where the legal pressure keeps increasing on the US surgeons to 
make a proper documentation of what you do, we think this is a must for a nerve monitor. When was the last study that you have been involved in? Maybe for this Congress? Have you had the pleasure to go through like hundreds of paper prints and evaluate one by the other? You could have skipped that one. With a C2 nerve monitor, you would be provided with plenty of different export and analysis functions. The C2 can, for example, export the entire database, including hundreds or even thousands of patients, into Excel, and there are no mutations, reconstructions of trends, comparison of trends, or just comparison of the signal intensities before and after reception, anything would be possible. Or you just feed it to our PC-based software, which can do a statistical analysis on all your patients with complete automatism. But let's have a quick look on continuous legacy monitoring, because I want to encourage each single one of you to at least try it a few times. You, you'd be astonished about this amazing technique. For continuous monitoring, it is imperative to have stable stimulation conditions. This requirement drove our design to the delta electrode. This unique delta-shaped design allows the smooth silicon body to safely and reliably grab the vagus nerve and to stay in place throughout the entire procedure. The trend and baseline function on the C2 allows you to set up certain alarm thresholds for amplitude changes, for latency changes, and to be alerted automatically in case there is a significant nerve conduction change and you can react in time prior to a potentially severe nerve lesion. But back to daily routine. Reporting is more and more important, that's for sure. That is why the C2 is equipped with plenty of very helpful reporting functions. It starts right at the beginning of surgery, when the OR staff enters the patient data. Thanks to the integrated barcode scanner, all they have to do is take the patient data and scan the patient ID into the device, even without touching anything. During the operation, you could use the Wi-Fi connected iPad right inside your sterile field, either just as a second screen, or maybe even to monitor and to, um, to document traces, make annotations, all by your own. You would be completely autonomous and independent from your OR staff. After surgery, the C2 is equipped with plenty of automatic export functions, such as the integration of the um, report file into your clinical information system, for example, your SAP system. That way, you would always have everywhere, anywhere, access to those files. The C2 provides you with highest reliable signal quality. It is equipped with lots of documentation and analysis functions, and is definitely an intuitive and very easy to use device for your daily routine in the OR. InnoMed can definitely be considered a pioneer in your monitoring, and I'm very pleased to hand over to one of the very first pioneers in that field, our founder, our owner, our CEO, Rudy Magdala. Thank you very much, Navia. Thank you very much, the auditory, for the invitation here. Thank you that you have organized this nice first work conference in thyroid monitoring. Um, I think it is now about 20, nearly 25 years ago since I started my company, and my motivation in this time was um, to have tools, to develop tools for the preservation of nerves. I remember I attended an operation in Zurich with Professor Fisch in the ENT department and he was stimulating with bipolar forceps, with the coagulation forceps, and looking on the reaction of the nerve. And this was my motivation to do something else. And so we started to develop the first instruments, the first electrodes for the stimulation of motor nerves. And then uh, we in this time, we worked in the ENT department only in neurosurgery. And in 1994, we did the first step into general surgery. <coughs> and um, with the development of a special needle electrode, uh, electrode that we did with, together with Dr. Neumann in Halle, uh, this was like an open door 
into monitoring in thyroid surgery. These were the first steps and the first results, um, first good results, and uh, we started to do the first operation courses in Halle, and then Professor Tralle take over to go on with the development and uh, founded the first study group, and this was in 1994, 95, 96. In this time, we take all our um, inputs that we could get from the market and all the requests that were there to develop the C2 nerve monitor, which was done in 2009. In the meantime, we had, I think, covered, especially in Germany, all over Germany with about uh, 100, 200 nerve monitors up to 2000, um, the most of the hospitals doing thyroid monitoring. And now, today, we have installed about more than 3,000 um, equipment and I think about 500,000 operations every year will be supported by Inomet products in cases of nerve monitoring. Okay, I want to give you a brief overview about Inomet who Inomed is and who we are and where we are. This is the Inomed company. We are placed in, uh, founded in Teningen, placed in Emmendingen now. And uh, Emmendingen is close to Freiburg, which is the gate to the Black Forest. And as you see here, we have not only monitoring products, we have also some other products like the Black Forest Cave. And uh, we have a global sales department, uh, about seven, six divisions. And uh, we have started, of course, in Germany, and we have uh, now we are now covering um, all countries, about seven, 70 countries all over the world, and uh, we are having a direct sales in the Central Europe, and we are having uh, distributors internationally in all these countries. Uh, for a continuous innovation, uh, we have a research department, a very nice, innovative team going on and doing further developments with regard to monitoring and to other purposes too. Uh, we are attending now about five national and international projects and um, we have software and hardware engineering and we are doing all these things in-house. The result of the last 10 years of the development was one new application. Some of you have, it, have seen it maybe the day before. IRM in the pelvic of the pelvic nerves. So during abdominal surgery, it, there was always a requirement having instruments and possibilities to cover or to protect the nerves in the pelvic area. And with this system, we are now, I think, the first company worldwide providing such method. And um, the good thing is for you, the good message for you is it is possible to upgrade C2 in next year with this function of the pelvic monitoring. Other fields of our activities, we are always there where nerves are at risk or where we have to do a therapy on neurological uh, functions. Our main area is interpretive monitoring, but we are also doing functional neurosurgery, pain treatment, and neurological diagnostic. Another important thing uh, is that education and training, this is what you do here during this kind of courses, but additionally, we try to close the gap between medical education and the application of monitoring equipment, and this is why we offer this kind of trainings every year, since 2005, we are offering this kind of trainings for interoperative monitoring and functional neurosurgery. Finally, I think this is an important picture. You see the importance and significance of neuromonitoring in Germany. Even Kanzler Merkel, she was not asking for a job that time, <laughs> but she was having attention to the nerve monitoring that was exhibited at Medica in 2010. So you are also invited to visit us at our booth upstairs and last not least you are invited to visit also our new website. So we have a new website launched yesterday 
and you can see the courses and you can see all the new developments. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much and see you later at the booth.